In this video, I will simplify how metformin works. Metformin is one of the most widely used medications we use for diabetes management. Before we move on, please consider subscribing. Metformin is an oral medication used to treat type 2 diabetes. It works by reducing the amount of glucose produced by the liver and improving the body's sensitivity to insulin, a hormone that helps cells absorb glucose from the bloodstream. Metformin works by slowing down the liver's production of glucose through a process called gluconeogenesis. Gluconeogenesis is the process by which the liver produces glucose from non-carbohydrate sources, such as amino acids and fats. By reducing the amount of glucose produced by the liver, Metformin helps lower blood sugar levels. Metformin also helps improve insulin sensitivity in the body. Insulin resistance is a common problem in people with type 2 diabetes, where the body's cells become resistant to the effects of insulin. By improving insulin sensitivity, metformin helps the body use insulin more effectively, which also helps to lower blood sugar levels. Overall, metformin is an effective and widely used medication for the management of type 2 diabetes, and its mechanism of action is well understood by medical professionals. Like all medications, metformin can cause side effects. The most common side effects of metformin are gastrointestinal in nature and include nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, and abdominal discomfort. These side effects are usually mild and go away on their own as the body adjusts to the medication. In some cases, metformin can cause hypoglycemia, or low blood sugar levels. This is more likely to occur when metformin is used in combination with other medications that lower blood sugar, such as insulin or sulfonylureas. In rare cases, metformin can cause a serious condition called lactic acidosis, which occurs when there is too much lactic acid in the bloodstream. Symptoms of lactic acidosis include weakness, fatigue, muscle pain, shortness of breath, and abdominal pain. Lactic acidosis is more likely to occur in people with kidney or liver problems, or in those who drink alcohol excessively. Long-term use of metformin can lead to vitamin B12 deficiency, which can cause anemia, neuropathy, and other health problems. Regular monitoring of vitamin B12 levels is recommended for people taking metformin. Other less common side effects of metformin include headaches, dizziness, and taste disturbances. It's important to talk to your healthcare provider about any side effects you experience while taking metformin. They can help determine whether the side effects are normal or indicate a need for a change in medication or dosage. Let us know what you think below. Thanks for watching.